Hi, I'm Brandon Fulton. And I'm Mason Moeller. And welcome back to your daily video announcements. Today for lunch, we have popcorn chicken, mashed potatoes, gravy, green beans, cookie, dinner roll, and a cold milk. Let's take a look at today's holidays. Next, let's take a quick glance at your top five news stories of the day. My name's Kyle, and this is top five news stories. 100-year-old man breaks Guinness World Record for working at the same company for 84 years. The Happy Meal was once of, the, once of McDonald's signature dishes, but it now has been quietly discontinued by most locations. Open enrollment will allow Kansas students to enroll in any school district. Mr. Harpool finishes third at local disc golf championship. Texas researchers create plastic eating enzyme that could quickly reduce waste, clean landfills. Now for an interview with next year's junior class president. Um, I feel I feel excited and honored to be elected class president because you know we're going into our last half of high school, and so I'm excited to be able to make a difference to the best of my ability and to work with the student body to do so as well. Um, I plan to be the voice of the student body and to make sure that not only can we uh, help present people's ideas, but we can actually carry them out and make sure that people know what Stuco is doing because I feel like there's been a lack of knowledge within that area. Um, I think I have really good leadership skills and I'm very good at communicating with people and I hope that people are will feel welcome to come talk to me whenever they have any issues that they need solved. Next, a FBLA bake sale announcement. Now for a sports physical announcement. Next up, VCSC. Hello and welcome back to another episode of VCSC. We're your hosts, Holden McDaniel and Mason Moeller. All right, today we're talking about the draft picks. All right, the Chiefs picked up Trent McDuffie and George Carlock. Car Car some weird name. Car. Yeah, some weird dude. They're both pretty good picks. We traded up for the 21st pick, but what do you think about it, Mason? Uh, I think it was very surprising at a de uh, getting a defensive edge. I figured that we'd probably get like another linebacker or something. But you know what? I'm here for it. And that corner, <clears throat> just what we needed. Yeah, with that Tyron Matthew trade to the Saints, that cornerback is going to help a lot. Let's see what your peers think. Uh, I think the Jaguars reached on their first pick. Uh, honestly, I'm pretty excited about how the draft went for the Chiefs. Um, I was a little shocked when they traded up a few spots, but uh, both guys drafting the first round are projected to have immediate impacts on our defense, if not have, have starting roles. So uh, it should be definitely an upgrade to our defense, take a little pressure off the offense. Let's head on over to the weather. Today we have a low of 47 degrees and a high of 67 degrees. Now for a quick blast of the past with today's uh, This Day in History. Stay classy, VC. May 5th, 1961. Alan Shepard becomes America's first space traveler, blasting off from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Three, two, one. Zero. Ignition. Shepard makes a 15-minute suborbital flight on board his Mercury capsule, dubbed Freedom 7. 1821. France's former ruler, Napoleon Bonaparte, whose armies once swept across Europe, dies in exile on the South Atlantic island of St. Helena. 1818. Karl Marx, the philosopher whose ideas bore fruit in communist regimes worldwide during the 20th century, is born in what's now Germany. 1981, Irish Republican Army member Bobby Sands dies at Northern Ireland's Mays Prison during the 66th day of his hunger strike. And 1891. Composer Peter Ilyich Tchaikovsky conducts at the opening concert at Carnegie Hall, then known as Music Hall, in New York City. Today in History, May 5th, Camille Bohannon, The Associated Press. <laughs>